Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Success Engineering Official. Today we are going to see how to create the riser and main pipe for a sprinkler system in Revit. Fire protection with uh, fire protection pipe, riser and uh, main pipe, and uh, as well as we will see how to place the fire department connection as well to connect our uh, riser and main pipe to the fire department connection. So, before I start this video, I would like to request you guys please do subscribe my channel and click the bell icon as well so that you can get the notification of my upcoming videos. And please uh, share and like my videos and don't forget to subscribe as well so let's start now as you can see here this is a shilling plan for a sprinkler system we have uh, created in my last tutorials so we have already placed the sprinkler in the ceiling you can see here this is the sprinkler sprinkler pendant hostage so we have placed already so now we create a main pipe or riser a main and riser pipe with fire department connection so first of all you have to go to the floor plan as you can see here this is the floor plan first floor a sprinkler system to uh, to place the fire department connection because fire department connection is uh, place a uh, from the bottom uh, to three feet or four feet so we need to go to the floor plan as you can see here this is the floor plan so we i want to place here the fire department connection first so how to load this one so go to the system mechanical equipment then load family then you go to this uh, in libraries you can see here this is the libraries and there are three folders so generic imperial and us matter so our format is in imperial system so we have to go in this imperial then you can see here there is fire protection folder you can go on that folder and there is connections okay so there are so many families given here host connection host uh, connection fire department and there are different types of fire department connection also given here so we want to select this let's open okay so you can see here this is the fire department connection two ways okay so this already loaded here and uh, two ways uh, flush outlet body four inch by two and a half inch okay so it's loaded here and you can see at the elevation of this uh, is zero feet so i want to place this uh, fire department connection at four feet from the floor okay from the ground level and uh, now you can see here this is the elevation is four feet and you can see here this connection is i i want to rotate so simply take this to the wall and simply press the space button to rotate this so i'm placing this one and simply click here okay so you can see here this is the power department connection already place it here now what you will do you need to create one fire pipe so to how to create this pipe so you should go to this families then here pipe system piping system okay then you can see here there are different piping system given here domestic cold water pipe or water pipe fire protection dry fire protection other and fire protection weight so what you will do simply select this and duplicate this okay then you have to rename fire protection weight okay so this is your pipe. double click on this we did this one so after double clicking you can see here this type properties and here is edit graphics then color you can choose the color i am choosing the right red and uh, weight is two and pattern is solid solid then okay click okay 
then you can see in this identity identity data you can give the description here fire protection width so fire protection width okay and simply click ok your riser piping system is created now what you will do okay now let's start uh, creating the pipe so what you will do simply click on pipe and uh, in the properties panel you can see here this mechanical system type is hydronic supply selected so what you will do simply click on this piping system type and uh, select the fire protection weight and then you can draw the pipe okay Simply draw the five at four feet, then click and then you have to change the elevation. Now our ceiling height is 10 feet. So I want to run the pipe at 11 feet. So simply type 11 and uh, simply create like this. Okay, simply create and cancel. Now what you will do, simply go to this, uh, go to this uh, ceiling plan. You can see here that your pipe is created here if you want to click and see this elevation is at 11 feet okay and your ceiling height is 10 feet okay so now why it's look like this you can go to this uh, detail this view and uh, simply click here make it fine and uh, shaded okay so you can see here the pipe is created here but that uh, connection is not showing because this uh, that connection will show to here in this floor plan okay so let's change this also okay you can see here this already created okay okay so you can see here this your pipe is created here in the ceiling so now what you will do simply select this pipe and right click uh, right click and create similar to continue creating the continue here drop pipe okay so click on drop pipe continue the drawing drop to here and right click cancel Okay, so you can see here this pipe is created this main pipe is created now we have what we will do we have to create the one more pipe so simply select this right click and uh, create similar okay now this time you have to create similar and now from from this point you have to create one more pipe just to connect this uh, sprinkler this side okay and uh, create one more pipe here this is main pipe actually after that you will create the branch pipe so this is your main pipe okay okay so you can see here this main pipe is created now what we will do we have to connect this pipe to this sprinkler so simply right click and draw pipe create similar from here to this one click connect this and from here now what will do i want to change this to as it is to simply select this and click on plus button then it will create it inverted into the T and draw pipe click connect this okay and now select this one and simply click on the tab tab and cap okay you can see here this is already connected and now what we will do I want to convert this uh, 
t to the plus these fittings and uh, now simply right click draw pipe now draw pipe up to here and simply cancel and again you have to draw this one connect this again select this t click on plus sign and again click right click draw pipe simply connect to this spindle okay so as you can see here this already connected and you have to select this again and cap then okay now what you will do simply check this uh, in this 3d view how it looks like make it fine and uh, you can see here this after making the fine it is visible but uh, you want i want to make it shaded okay so how your uh, in pipe and uh, riser pipe is looks like it's showing here it's very simple as you can see here this is your fire department connection once your fire uh, fire uh, brigade will come and connect their hoses here and they will charge the pipe they will charge the uh, water through this pipe okay this is wet riser they will charge the water and that water will be used at its floor okay now how to do the pipe sizing we will do the pipe sizing as well so first uh, in this tutorial we will connect all the branches then next tutorial i will show you guys how to do the pipe sizing so let me go to this and uh, finish this one simply right click create similar simply connect this connect this which branch you have to connect to the main pipe so this one connect it here you have to convert this one click on this t and convert this to this fittings and simply right click drop pipe and then connect it okay now you have to connect this also this time simply right click drop pipe now connect to this okay so what you will do you have to create like this okay so what will do simply select this one right click create similar now this time we have to create like this okay then simply uh, click on this t simply convert this again right click draw pipe now we have to connect this one okay and now select this one drag little bit down then you have to put the end cap okay so here is also end cap and here is end cap already so now i want to place the end cap here to select this click on the end cap so as you can see all the branches and main pipe is created and how it looks like just see in this 3d view so this is your first floor piping fire protection wet pipe is created and uh, we have to create on the first floor second floor also so in the next tutorial guys i will show you how to uh, create this uh, pipe for the second floor and then how to do the pipe sizing as well so thank you for watching my video thank you once again please uh, take care and have a nice day and uh, thank you